Hello everyone, it's Sarah, and I am back. For my longtime viewers and subs, you know that I was a Lifeline main before Newcastle released. I main Lifeline from season 10 to 12, which I know is really recent, but I didn't really start playing her till season 10, and then I fell in love with her character, and at that time, I liked playing her. But with Newcastle's release, I felt kind of bad for her because Newcastle's kit is everything that I wanted her to be as a combat medic. Here's the return of Sarah, the Lifeline main. I have like 5,000 kills on her, so I do know how to play her, and I've played her in ranked before this ranked season. Lifeline's Town Takeover. I'm really excited for this. This looks like a dope POI, and also this emergency platform. I can't wait to see what's actually here. I'm not going to go over every single detail of the patch notes. I will leave my friend Daz's video about that below if you would like an in-depth thoughts and discussion about it. I'm only going to be focusing on Lifeline's buffs because that's what this video is. Now I'm not going to say that I had any influence on Respawn buffing her, but I will say that I did stop playing her just so I could show them like, hey, I'm not contributing to her pick rate so that I can show you I'm not playing her until you buff her or do something with her because it felt really bad to have Newcastle come out and then nothing happened to her. So Lifeline, Combat Revive. Remove Revive Cancel option from Lifeline to the player that's getting revived. I feel like this could be good and bad, depending, because I can anticipate some people trolling with it. But it's good if Lifeline taps you out in the open but you want to crawl to a safer spot before you get revived. Dock Heal Drone. Healing pool increased from 150 to infinite. Still last 20 seconds. That is going to be huge. There have been times where I had to pop down a healing drone for three of us and someone would still have to pop a syringe because 150 is not enough, especially if we're all super low. Double the healing radius. I'm excited for that the most, um, especially when I use drone behind cover and I can keep like peeking in and out of cover constantly while still getting healed. You guys should anticipate this may be used against you if the enemy gets near your health drone, but just account for that when you're shooting at them. But yeah, being able to loot at a longer distance from the healing drone is going to be huge as well. Your package. Cooldown reduced from 5 minutes to 3.5 minutes. I still feel like her ultimate takes too long to come down for what you get from it. Um, especially with IMC armories being introduced. I know that's just on one map, but there's so many other places where you can get the same loot that she gives you. 3.5 minutes I still feel like is going to be a long time, but I'll have to see in-game for myself. The weapon attachment panel now comes with a shield battery instead of two shield cells, which is good because batteries are king. No blue beam on initial drop. I remember saying in a past video that it's a beacon like, hey, we're all over here, so that should be good. It will still show up after the care package lands, so as long as you're anticipating where it's going to land and open it quickly, um, I still feel like you'll be able to see it falling from the sky and it makes a lot of sound still, but again, I'll see how this all plays out in game after this is updated. For my Lifeline fans out there, what do you think of the changes? I still wish that her care package got reworked completely instead of these little buffs, but I still feel like Newcastle's ult is what I wanted her ult to be, like expand into a wall that we can use because in ranked I used it as cover anyways. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will give you guys some lifeline gameplay in the meantime until this update. Of course someone's landing directly on us. You wanna land on us? Fighting your teammate but I'm lagging really hard. I just can't do anything, I'm lagging so bad. 20% pack at loss. Back that reef. I need 60 points on her. I'm getting shot from two places so I better drop. Don't have health on. 